Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at another example of using a geometric series to convert a repeating decimal into a fraction. The problem we're gonna look at is the repeating decimal 1.8 and then it's the digits 2-3 that repeat forever. So the first thing we're gonna do is split this into the non-repeating part, 1.8, and then the repeating decimal part. We can easily convert 1.8 to a fraction, 18 over 10. What we want to now to convert to a fraction is the repeating decimal part. Now, what we're going to notice is that we get the digits 2, 3 repeating every two digits, but notice the 3 that occurs in the 1,000th spot. So if we were going to write this as a sum of fractions, numbers over powers of 10, the first term that we would get here, we're gonna write that as 23 over 1,000. We're gonna represent it as a power of 10, 10 to the third. And then each pair of digits, two, three, that repeat thereafter, we'll get 23 or 2, 3 in the numerator over the next powers of 10, but we're grouping them in powers of two, so 100. So we get now 10 to the fifth, 23 over 10 to the seventh, so on and so on. This is a geometric series where we have our first term a as 23 over 10 cubed. Rewriting that same thing as 23 over 1,000. And notice, going from each term to the next one, we're multiplying by 1 over 100. 1 over 10 squared. Notice in the denominator, each power of 10, we get an additional 2 powers of 10 from each term to the next. So our value for r, 1 over 10 squared, 1 over 100. And since our ratio is less than 1, we have a convergent geometric series. Now since it is convergent, we can apply the sum formula. We have our value for a, we have our value for r. Let's go ahead and find the sum, the fraction, for this repeating decimal part. So if we do that over here, we have our value for A and R, we're just gonna plug it in. So looks like what we get is A, 23 over 1,000. And then in the denominator, we have one minus R, one minus one over 100. The denominator, we can easily write that as a fraction, 99 over 100. So we have 23 over 1,000 divided by 99 over 100. And same trick as before when we're dividing fractions, you can multiply by the reciprocal. And this comes out to be the same thing as 23 over 1,000 times 100 over 99. And just be careful when you cancel out a common factor here you'll be left with a factor of 10 in the denominator, 10 times 99. We can write this fraction as 23 over 990. That's basically most of the work here. That was the conversion of this repeating decimal to a fraction. If we make use of that here, we had 1.8 converting to 18 over 10. And we just now converted this repeating decimal part to 23 over 990. From here to express our repeating decimal as a single fraction or rational number, we're just gonna use a common denominator and it looks like 990 will work. So take your first fraction here, multiply and divide by 99. And if you convert this, should get this comes out to 1,805 
over 990. And you can even divide out a factor of five and we get as our simplified fraction or rational number, 361 divided by 198. And that is how we convert a repeating decimal into a rational number. Now, I have no idea what the application of this is, but we're learning how to apply geometric series in some context, which I think is pretty cool. It's pretty cool to think calculus two, infinite series, we're relating back to some topics from earlier basic arithmetic. That's pretty interesting. If you enjoyed the video, support the channel, like and subscribe.